a very warm welcome to another uh, talk, series of talks on this weekend with wisdom uh, segment that we have been doing uh, this is uh, nitin shridhar and uh, let me begin with a small prayer sada shiva samarambham shankaracharya madhyamam अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंता वंदे गुरु परंपरा वक्रतुंड महाकाय कोटिसूर्य सम्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्व्यु श्री गणेशाय नम श्री गुरव नम so today uh, uh we have with us again dr csr prabhu ji uh, who uh, welcome you sir thank you for making time for the program uh, many of you may know that uh, prabhu ji joined us a few weeks back uh, to speak on a very important text and again he is joining us today to speak on another important text namely the avadhuta gita avadhuta gita is a very advanced text on vedanta uh, it is ascribed to shri dattatreya the avadhuta hence the title avadhuta gita and it examines the nature of the self the reality and uh, it it gives a very systematic presentation of of self realization and we will see uh, prabhu ji will be highlighting on some significant aspects of this text uh before we move forward just a brief introduction uh, to prabhu ji uh dr csr prabhu has held prestigious positions with the government of india and various other institutions he retired as director general of the national informatics center ministry of electronics and information technology government of india and has worked with tata consultancy services cms tes telco etc he was also the faculty for the programs of the apo and he has taught and researched at the university of central florida orlando and also had a brief stint as the consultant to nasa he was chairman of the computer society of india hyderabad chapter he worked as the advisor at kl university vijayawada andhra pradesh and has and as a director of research and innovation at keshav memorial institute of technology hyderabad uh, he received his masters degree in electrical engineering with specialization in computer sciences from iit bombay he has guided many masters and doctoral students in research areas such as big data he has authored 16 books on wide range of topics from computer science to yoga including a widely acclaimed book dharma yoga as a common framework for all religions he was conferred doctorate of divinity by Henry uh, Martin uh, Institute Hyderabad for the above research on dharma yoga he is also the founder chairman of vishwa yoga vidyapeet uh, very warm welcome to you sir again uh, we are very fortunate to have you among us uh, so without any uh, further delay please go ahead and uh, start your session oh we start our lecture today by praying to lord dattatreya who is the incarnation of vishnu he is the only one incarnation who has all the three murtis imbibed in himself so the avadhuta gita which is a text of vedanta representing extreme advaita or non dualism it is ascribed to dattatreya the son of atri atreya his name is datta who is looked upon as an incarnation of vishnu among the 24 incarnations mentioned in the bhagavad purana we don't have much of historical information but markandeya purana contains the longest references but even that is incomplete 
he was born out of the great personalities of highest spiritual order atri maharshi and anasuya devi very early in his life he became renowned as a great <coughs> warrior and soon renounced the world and devoted himself to the practice of higher yoga he is the yogi of the highest order he attained the highest state of self realization and liberation and therefore he became avadhuta avadhuta means a liberated soul one who has passed away from all or shaken off all worldly attachments which are compared to the coverings on him avadhuta is uncovered and cares and has attained a spiritual state equivalent to the existence of god so therefore friends in this text the statements which are coming out of the mouth of dattatreya have to be interpreted in this light if you interpret those statements from the perspective of an ordinary human being then they may look like uh, totally mad or totally unacceptable so we should not do the mistake of interpreting from an ordinary common man perspective but interpret it from the highest level of divinity which dattatreya reached though avadhuta naturally implies renunciation it includes an additional and yet higher state which is neither attachment nor detachment so in fact similarly the state of knowledge or state of realization being mentioned in this text which we will see soon is neither advaita nor dvaita it is beyond both he has mentioned that also and avadhuta feels no need for observing any rules either secular or religious he seeks nothing avoids nothing he has neither knowledge nor ignorance see the level of abstraction going above both knowledge and ignorance having realized that he is the infinite self he lives in that vivid realization to the hindu mind dattatreya is a symbol of this realization and you can see four dogs surrounding him which are supposed to represent the four vedas you can see the advancement level to which he went where the vedas are appearing as faithful dogs around him that means his level of knowledge his deliverance of knowledge is the highest order definitely supported by the vedas whoever the unknown composer of the avadhuta gita of course it is ascribed to atatreya but some others may ascribe to some other authors like goraknath but they also are the disciples of the avadhuta order which is headed by dattatreya himself even in kumbha mela when you go to the kumbha mela and see the various sadhus even the highest order yogis who come there they will be keeping dattatreya's uh, image or symbol as their guru of the original guru of their own orders of sanyasa and yoga including gorakhnas so the avadhita gita is a small book it contains only eight chapters this is the book which i am covering which is published by ramkrishna vach in sanskrit which breathes the atmosphere of the highest experience of brahma so nowhere else you will find this kind of uh, most profound and most confident and most dashing statements of the brahm brahmi sthiti it goes into no philosophical arguments or theories to prove the oneness of reality usually we see a lot of scholars trying to prove this with our kinds of arguments but here there is no argument the contents make the most startling statements which are extraordinary and very very much above the normal way of life and leaving the seeker of truth to imbibe them 
it is more like a deep meditation process we will be going through today rather than a theoretical analysis and those who listen to this or read this or understand this they are elevated they are lifted away from illusion maya into the blazing light of jnana or supreme knowledge advaita vedantins have praised this topmost premium gita as as swami vivekananda himself said who is the greatest advaitin of modern times he quoted once he made he made a statement men like the one who wrote this song the gita of bhagavadgita keep the religion alive it is not dogma doctrine theory argument but it is a live state of religion they have actually realized it is not just talking about realization but it actually realized that means you see to compare with our normal lives we watch uh, cricket matches played in australia or elsewhere and we feel as if uh, we are also playing actually we are not playing somebody else is playing we are simply watching same thing here avadhuta actually plays he he actually lives vedanta as ramkrish paramahamsa is also supposed to be living vedanta so avadhuta is much much higher stage than paramahamsa stage so they care for nothing avadhuta cares for nothing feel for nothing than to the body care not for heat cold danger or anything and they sit still enjoying the bliss of atman and though red hot coals burn the body they feel them not these are the words quoted from swami vekananda himself so the present english translation was first published in 1946 in the voice of india a magazine of the vedanta society of northern california the learned translator swami ashokananda who is the translator for this the senior monk of the ramkrishna order we pay our respect to him for giving us this opportunity to contemplate on the avadhuta gita statements and he did this writing between 1925 and 1931 and was in charge of the vedanta society of northern california san francisco area bay area from 1932 until his leaving this body in december of 1969 so with this few introductory comments i will now start the avadhuta gita once again let us meditate on avadhuta dattatreya himself to bestow us the divine intuition and knowledge and experience to understand what he is declaring in his avadhuta we'll cover the first chapter ishvara anugraha deva pumsa advaita vasana mahat bhaya paritranam vipranam upajaya this is the first shloka advaita vasana even the instinct of advaita will not come to everyone it is the rarest of the rare enlightened states coming only to the realized souls and even for that ishvara anugraha is only cause as swam sri arvind also put your own sadhana and your gurus kripa are not adequate though they are essential it is the time or the anugraha of ishvara which is essential to get this insight into the true experiential dimension of advaita it is not a matter of theory it is not a matter of arguments or logic or proof or doctrine but it is a matter of experience and that experience will come through intuitive realization of the self 
as the Upanishad also said, Nayamatma pravasthena rabhyo na medhaya na bahuna srutena. The self cannot be acquired by great knowledge of the Shrutis or by great intelligence or by hearing all kinds of many, many lectures of various speakers. They may be helpful, all these activities, but it is your internal discovery process of realization of self. The self-realization that matters and that's what Dattatreya first says, Ishvara Anugraha Deva Kumsam Advaita Vasana. Only by Ishvara Anugraha you will get even the very basic instinct of Vasana of Advaita, let alone the highest realization. For what purpose? Mahat Bhaya Parit Prana Viprana Mukhajayate. Because Mahat Bhaya Parit Pranat, by liberating the soul of the sadhaka from the Mahat Bhaya, the highest fear. What is the highest fear? Death. Death is the highest fear for anyone and everyone. And the only way to be freed from the death. In this book, you can see at one point, he declares what will happen at the time of death of a yogi who has achieved self revenge So he has used the word yogi and not jnani. But jnani means just knowledge. Yogi means experience. So tapasvibhyo adhiko yogi, jnani bhyascha mato adhikaha, karmi bhyascha adhiko yogi, tasmat yogi bhavarjuna. The sixth chapter, Bhagavad Gita. So even Avadhuta, Dattatreya has mentioned what will happen to the yogis who die in any different possible conditions, either in uh, a holy place or an unholy place or in coma also? What will happen to them after death if they have realized what has been told here? So, the very first next statement is very profound. Once again, each one of these statements are very profound. Yeneram puritam visham atman yeva atman atmani irakaram kartam vande abhindam shiva bhavya yena idam puritam sarvam atmana eva atman atmani so the self atman by which everything is spread both inside and outside of course inside us we have the self which is conditioned by thought process and therefore mind and therefore make you see the so-called reality in your own perspective of your own conditioning. Everyone sees a different reality based on the samskaras and conditioning of that person. Outside also, the universe which, it, which appears to have existed, it is manifest universe there is an unmanifest reality behind the manifest universe. So that being, that is Brahman, this is Atman. As one of the Mahavakyas says, I am Atma Brahma. Therefore, how shall I salute the formless being, indivisible, auspicious, immutable, who fills all this with his self and also fills the self with his self? The small self, that is the Jivatmas, are also nothing but the Leela, Prakata, the expression of the Leela or Maya of the Supreme Being. So each Mamai Vamsho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatanaha. So this Jiva Bhuta, Jiva, is nothing but Ishvara Ali. The Amsha of Ishwara, of Ishwara himself, takes the manifested forms of various jivas. So, therefore, that self, which is spread everywhere, the Paramatma, 
which is also composed itself as jivatmas or jivatmas in and out there is only one being that is self capital s self which also comprises of all this small s selves souls the supreme soul and the individual souls how can i salute to that being he is asking a question usually in all the books people start with a salutation prayer to a particular divine being but here he is asking a question whom shall i do it because there is only one पंचभूतात्मक विश्व मरीज जल सन्नीभम कश्याप्यो नमस्कुरीज दिस यूनिवर्स विच अपियर्स प्रपंचम पंच इज फाइव प्राइज प्रकृष्ट मैनिफेस्ट ग्रेटली विथ पंचभूता इज मरीज जल सन्नीभम इज इक्वल इन टू वाटर इन मिराज therefore how can i at whom shall i do namaskaram ham eko niranjana i alone exist i alone does not mean the ego but it means the supreme self which alone exists because the rest of the universe which appears to exist is a mirage it does not exist atmaiva kevalam sarvam bheda bhedo na vidyate अस्ति नास्ति कथम भूयाबूटे Bheda, abheda, both are abstractions. I am surprised, he says. I, how can I talk about bheda, abheda, or asti nasti? Bheda anta sar sarvasvam, jnanam vijnanam eva cha, aham atma nirakara, sarva vyapi swabhava. What is the sum and substance of the entire Bheda anta darshana, Bheda anta shastra? With all the darshanas of different versions of the Gita, Vishnu, and so on, twenty-five Siddhantas have come out. What is the sum and substance of all this? Vedanta Sara Sarvasvam, Jnanam. What is Jnanam, and what is Vijnan? Vijnan means Jnanam put into practice. What is that? Aham Atma Nirakara. I am the self, which is formless, and Sarva Vyapi. swabhavata by its own true nature it is not a new feature it is not a new discovery or it is not a new kind of a attribute added newly by nature it is sarva vyapi swabhavata vedanta sar sarvasvam jnanam vijnanam eva cha aham atma i am the self nirakar formless obviously सर्वव्यापी स्वभाव बै इट्स ओन ट्रू नेचर इज ऑल पर्वेजीव यो वै सर्वात्मको देवो निष्कलो गगनोप महा स्वभाव निर्मल शुद्ध सहम न संशय देर इज नो डाउट दट ऐ एम दट सुप्रीम बीइंग गॉड देव हू इज द सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल सर्वात्मक निष्कल गगनोपम स्वभाव निर्मल शुद्ध लाइक आकाश स्पेस स्प्रेड एवरीवेर एंड अट्रिब्यूटलेस आकाशम गगनम शून्यम स्वभाव निर्मल शुद्ध सहम आयाम दट दिस इज अ मेडिटेटिव प्रोसेस फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ मेडिटेटिव प्रोसेस इट इज नॉट ए थेरेटिकल एनालिसिस The meditative process. Ahameva avyayo ananta ha. Ahameva avyaya ananta ha. Chudha vijnana migra. Sukham dukham na jana ami. Katham kasya api vartam. 
I don't know pleasure and pain, sukham dukham, and I don't know how or in what relation to whom the pleasure and pain happen. We all suffer in our life. Every day we are facing all kinds of problems. We are facing Adi Daivika problems, Adi Bhautika problems, and Adhyatmika problems. Adi Daivika means problems coming out of natural forces. Adi Bhautika means physical problems, health related, and so on. Discomfort, pain, etc. And we are also facing, if you don't have these two, you are facing Adhyatmika problems. That means your own internal problems, your internal to yourself. You are facing problems like emotional problems. People have anger, greed, lust, jealousy, arrogance. It all comes from the ego. So, we face these problems either within ourselves or from our neighbors. Our neighbors could be our family members or could be our colleagues or could be our students or teachers, or could be any other person. So either you face within yourself, or you face from others, or you give to others. Yasman no dvijate loko, lokan no dvijate cheha. It's a rare phenomenon that there exists a person who will not give trouble to anybody, and he himself will not be get troubled by anybody else. How to achieve that state? Firstly, if you are happy, then you will be able to make others happy. If you are sorry, you will be making others sorry. So a person who is getting pained all the time, he will not only weep, but he will also give pain to others. A person who is happy within himself, what is the solution for this? How to be happy? That is why this Moksha Shastra, Vedanta, Yoga, Jnana is made available for people to transcend the sorrow. The Mukti is from Dukkha. Riveda Dukkha Nivritti Rachanta Purushardha Sankhya Sutra number one by Kapila. The highest human effort should be to overcome all types of sorrow. And these sorrows are originating in your own mind with your own emotions, either disturbed within yourself or due to the external causes. So those who cause pain to you, those who cause harassment or anger, fight, conflict, they themselves are suffering from those problems. So if you want to not get affected by these problems, you have to reach a level of maturity, which is what is being achieved here to the self revenge. If you reach a level which is the highest, which is being explained in the Avadhuta Gita, then you will be able to reach a high level, a Himalayan highest level of being or existence where you shall not be affected perturbed, disturbed by any pains or miseries or issues or problems, either coming from within yourself. Obviously, you have overcome them, you have conquered them, and you will not be affected by what others do to you. The others are actually afflicted. Therefore, they are causing pain to others because they themselves are in pain, not because of you. Maybe you also do that to them and therefore you should stop doing it. If they are doing it to you, they will also stop doing it. These negative emotions have to be overcome, transcended. And if you go to the highest level, which is being explained in the Avadhuta Gita, it will be possible for you to do it. Ahameva avyayo anantaha Suddha vijnana vikra Sukham nukham najana Katham kasya vivartate Na manasam karma shubha shubham me, na kaikam karma shubha shubham me, na vachkam karma shubha shubham me. Jnana amrutam shuddhamati indriyoh. 
I have no mental activity, good or bad. This is a meditation process for us. And of course, his own statements of his own state of existence. Pratantraya. I have no bodily function, good or bad. I have no verbal action, good or bad. I am the nectar of love, beyond senses. Jnana Amrutam, who am I? I am Amrutam, Jnana Amrutam. Shuddha Matindri Yoham. I am pure self, pure mind, pure senses. Mano Mai Gaganakaram, Mano Mai Sarvatomukha. Mano Thitam Manas Sarvam, Ramana Paramat. This is one of the most profound statements ever made in the entire literature of the world. Of all talks. What is this statement? Mano Vai Gaganakaram, Mano Vai Sarvatom, Mano Atitam, Manasarvam, Naman Paramat. The mind indeed is the form of space. Mind indeed is Manifested omniface, Manovai Gaganakaram, Manovai Sarvatog, Mana Atitam, mind is the past, Mana Atitam, Mana Sarvam, mind is everything all. Is that true or not? When you get dreams, you are getting because of the mind, all those dream experiences. In the waking state, your emotional state, your mental state will determine your state of experience, either within yourself or afflictions coming within yourself or afflictions coming from outside, which are affecting you. All these are in the mind. Everything is mind, the past and the present is the mind. And lo and behold, Ramana Paramartha in reality, in Paramartha, the higher reality. Actually, the mind does not exist. It's a fake. We know a lot of uh, things like fake news, fake videos, fake statements, fake narratives outside in the social networks. But we are not able to realize that our mind itself is the first culprit of creating fake narratives. Fake news, fake images, fake opinions. So people who hate others, they have hate narratives which are fake. People who are afflicted by emotions, anger, great anger, greed, great greed, lust, jealousy, they are all being manipulated by the mind, by the fake thoughts. And lo and behold, the mind actually has no a real existence. You have what in mind? And a series of thoughts. What are thoughts? Thoughts are conditioning of the pure consciousness. In deep sleep, there are no thoughts. But you existed, Rajnavastha. And even in deep meditation, you can stop thoughts. In our yoga courses, we teach meditations of various kinds, Om meditation, and Antar Maunam, and so on. So, it's possible to stop the mind. There's a very famous uh, proverb, when the mouth is silent, the mind is active. When the mind is silent, the heart is active. A lot of people have no sensitivities, or they are not adequately sensitive. What is called Hrudaya Spandana, able to feel the empathize with others, not sympathize, but with empathize. If you are able to feel that empathy, that means you have a heart, not just mind or brain. So when the mouth is silent, the mind is active, the mind is silent, the heart is active. So I salute all the mothers of this world who have their highest affection and love for their children, which is the greatest love which is next only to the divine love. And bhakti is nothing but divine love. And prema is next to bhakti. That is the heart, heartfulness. And when the heart is also 
sublimate then the soul self will be experienced or activated and when the soul is evolved to the adequate extent of spiritual development soul also gets sublimated soul is silent then only god is active so that is bhakti yoga surrender prapatti so i explained you an elaborate description of what he has told here that mind is the cause of your manayeva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo bandhasya vishaya saktam muktasya nirvishayam the famous thing. so a nirvishaya manas is mukta manas a, a kama purita vishaya sakta manas is a bandha manas and finally it is manas manayeva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo mano vai gagana karam mano vai sarvato mukha mano atitam manas sarvam na mana parama kataha actually it does not exist it is something similar to the adhyasa the snake in the rope people thought there is a snake but once they realized there is no snake in the rope where did the snake go the snake never existed so all the show which the mind shows to you the cinema which the mind shows to you is a fake kind of it does not exist because mind itself does a fake person will show fake narratives so fake mind will show a fake world fake narrative of yourself so and so i am so and so i have this uh, relationship so i have this problem i am going to react in a angry manner to this person and he is going to react and there will be a war and there will be third world war this is a kind of fakery that goes on and now dattatre is going to explain more and more that fakery aham ekavidam sarvam yoma atitam nirantaram pashyami katham atmanam prachaksham va tirodi i the only am all this beyond space and continuous so what is the solution for this problem the problem is stop the mind and accept your true reality which is the self capital s self now he is asserting that ahameva ekamidam sarvam yomatitam nirantar pashyame katham atmanam pratyaksham vatiro tameva mekam hi katham na buchase man samam hi sarveshu vrishtam avyam sadodito asi tvam akhandita prabho divach laktam na katham niranyate you are only one tam ekameva ki why then do you not understand that you are not the unchanged you are the unchangeable one you are not this changeable soul but you are the unchangeable one supreme soul equally perceived in fact the other person your neighbor who are usually your enemy your own family members or your colleagues or your boss or your physical neighbors or even the country name they are your enemies yeah, usually the neighbor is your enemy and you don't realize that even that neighbor is nothing but yourself because within yourself you are seeding and growing the image and personality of your neighbor from whom you are getting problem and vice versa for him also so it is not the person who is creating the problem it is the emotions which are creating so how can you who are ever shining unrestricted think of it so when you are able to realize that there is only one self that is the self which is you and also the other person the moment you realize that you will have love to the other person because oneness leads to love like mother's love for the child is because mother sees the child as part of the mother herself so if you can see your neighbor as part of yourself if you can see your colleagues as part of yourself if you can see your organization as part of yourself you can see your neighborhood as part of yourself you can see your society as part of yourself you 
you can see your country as part of this. You are growing in your height. You are growing in your personality. And Gandhi identified himself with the country, not with a single person of his own family member. So if you can identify yourself with the universe, then you are the avadhuta. You are the liberated soul. Atmanam satatam vidhi sarvatraikam nirantaram aham dhyata paramdheyam akhandam kandyate katham So you remember that you are the only one. And if you are only one, how can there be two? The meditator and the meditated. How can you do meditation? Unless there are two. Even the object of meditation is nothing but merger of the two into one. Najato Namrutosi. You are not born. You are not going to die. Kamnate Dehap Kalach. You are not this body. Because you are identifying false narrative that you are this body. And somebody else is your neighbor or your enemy. You are having all the problems. Sarvam Brahmed Vikyatam Braviti Bhaktasuri. The scripture declares in many different ways the well known dictum Sarvam Kalviram Brahma. All verily is Brahma. Sabahya Bhyantaro Sitvam Shivaha. You are in and out of everything. It's a kinchit jagat sarvam. Drushate Sruyate Divantar Bahishata Sarvam Yapya. Narayana Sthitaha. Who is that Narayana? Narayana Paramatma. Narayana is nothing but Paramatma. Itas Sada Kadham Pranta Pradhapishaj. Why are you running here and there, helter skelter, like a ghost? Please realize that you are oneself Narayana. Samyogascha Vyogascha Gattate Nachate Name Natvam Naham Jagan Nedam Sarvam Atme Vikheva. Samyoga conjunction or union, Vyoga disjunction or separation exist in regard neither to you nor me. That means you and I are one and the same. There is no you, no me, nor is there in this universe. All this is self alone. Natvam naham jana jagan nedam sarvam atma eva kevala. Well, friends, this very realization of self as only one, which is God, God is only one, and all other things are part and parcel of the same Supreme Being. That oneness realization is the solution for all problems, that is the liberation stage. Shabda di Panchakasya Sya Naivasi Tate Punaha Pameva Paramam Tatpam Matakim Paritapyate. You do not belong to that which is composed of five objects of sense, such as sound, nor does that belong to you. You indeed are the supreme reality. Why then do you suffer? Matakim Paritapyate. These five Panchabhutas, the universe made up of the Panchabhutas, is neither yours nor mine. Tvameva Paramam Tattvam, you are that Supreme Being. In the previous slokas, he said, I am that Supreme Being. Now he is studying, you are that Supreme Being. Because the Supreme Being is only one in you and me and in everything. Kachakinchit Jagat Sarvam. Rishyate Sruyate Piva Antar Bahishyata Sarvam Vyapya Narayana Sthitaha Janma Vruchurnate Chittam Bandha Moksha Subhashubhav Katham Rodishi Hevatsa Na Rupam Nate Name Oh dear friend, why are you weeping? The name and form, individuality, the ego is fake. It is not you. For you there is no birth. And there is no death. For you there is no mind. For you there is no bondage or liberation. For you there is no good or evil. Why do you shed tears? Neither you nor I have name and form. 
अहो चित्तम कथम भ्रांत प्रभाव पिशाचवत अभिन्न पश्चात्मा राग त्यागा सुखी भव Why are you running helter skelter like a ghost? He holds his self as indivisible. Be happy through renunciation of attachment. So, even in the Ashtavakar Gita, the statement was made repeatedly. Deha bhimana pashena param chiram baddho si putraga. बोधो हम ज्ञान खड्गे सुखी भवा यू आर टाइड अप विद द बॉन्डेज ऑफ योर फॉल्स फेक आइडेंटिटी विथ योर बॉडी नेम फॉर्म डिस्क्रिप्शन एट्रीब्यूट एड्रेस लोकेशन आधार नंबर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो विद द सोर्ड टाइटेड बोधा ज्ञान यू कट दट Rope down the pieces and be free, be liberated. Again. So ameva tattam hivikar avartitam nishkam pamekam hivimoha vigra vimoksha vigraham nate ragul kavaya viraga katham hisab santapya si kama kama. Why are you boiling with various desires? Why are you suffering? seeking objects of desires why are you suffering with all the consequences of the desire kama kama leads to krodha if it is not fulfilled it leads to lobha if it is fulfilled lobha leads to moha if it is fulfilled moha leads to mada and finally vatsarya jealousy you have neither attachment nor aversion you should realize that you are the supreme self निर्गुणम शुद्धम वदन्ति श्रुतय सर्वा निर्गुणम शुद्धम अव्ययम अशरीरम समम तत्वम दट सुप्रीम इक्वानिमस रियलिटी व्हिच इज बॉडीस रियलाइज दट टू बी माय सेल्फ माय सेल्फ मींस नॉट ओनली दत्तात्रेय बट ईच वन ऑफ अस रियलाइज दट यू आर दट साकारमृतमृतमृत साकारमृतम विधि निराकार निश्चल ओनली फॉर्मलेस इज स्टैटिक अचल तत्व निश्चल तत्व गगनाकार साकारमृतम विधि निराकार निश्चल एक तत्वोपदेश इफ यू हेव अंडरस्टुड दिस इफ यू हेव एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन दिस न पुनर्भव संभव यू नॉट बी बॉर्न अगेन एक समम तत्व वदंति विपश्चित रागत्यागाशन So renunciation of thoughts, not renunciation physically. It is internal. Sarva karma ni manasa sanyasya ste sukham vasi navadvare kudhehi naiva kurvan na karayan. In the Gita also, uh, a person who wants to be happy 
will renounce, renounce all actions mentally. Sarva karmani manasa sanyasya ste sukham vashi navadware pure dehi naiva kurvan nakarayan. In this city of nine gates, the human body, this soul, the self, neither performs anything nor causes anything to it. Naiva kurvan nakarayan. Nakartrutpam. A low ownership, nakarma, ni lokasya sujati from. Nagarma phalasam yoga and just subhavasya pravartati. You are free from all bondages. Ekameva samantatvam vadanti hivi paschitaha. Agatyagat. Punaha chittam ekan ekam navijjate. Through renunciation of attachment, the mind which is one and many ceases to exist. So your attachment is the cause of your mind giving you false narratives, and false identifications, and false conflicts, and false problems, and false issues and relations. So if you can cut off that attachment and the mind, Anatma Rubam Chakatham Samadhi Atma Swarubam Chakatham Samadhi Astiti Nastiti Katham Samadhi Mokshai Garubam Yadi Sarvam Ekam if the ultimate truth is only one and which is fully already liberated, how can there be samadhi? Because in the non-self state, in the delusion, there cannot be samadhi. In the self state, there is no need for samadhi because it's already that. How can you say yes or no both at the same time? Astiti nastiti katham samadhi. The quietening and the extinction of the mind as a result of which the Eternal truth is realized. Dattatreya maintains that the practice of samadhi has no justification. If the universe of one experience is the non-self, then we are not in the state of samadhi or truth. If your experience is that of self, then samadhi is superfluous. We should dhosi samantatvam with videhatvam ajo aveha. You are unborn, indestructible, Bodiless, pure, and equanimous. We should dhosi samantatvam videha pam ajaha avyayaha janami na janami atmanam nandisega. How can you say, I know the self or I don't know the self? Because you are the self. How can you say you know or you don't know? Tattvamasya divakyena svatma hi pratipaditaha. Tattvamasi aham brahmasmi dimhavakyas. They are explaining only the self. Neti net sruti bruyad anutam pancha bhautikam. So the sruti, you Upanishad has repeatedly said, not this, not this, not this. Not the body. Nahan deho ne indriyanyam tarangan nahankara pranavadgona buddhi. I'll just take a five minutes break here and come back to continue the
Okay, friends, we are back. Let us continue. Vishuddhosi samantatvam videhastam ajogyeha. You are the pure equanimous tattvam. You are pure homogeneous reality. Disembodied videhaha tvam ajogyeha. You are not this body. You are free from this body. Why do you think Janami hai na Janami hai Atmanam manise kar? How can you say? I know or I don't know your sex. Tattva masya divakke na swatma hi pradipadita. Neti neti shrutir bruyat anrutam pancha bhautikam. This pancha bhautika vishwa is anrutam. It is fake. And the self itself is referred with the statements like tattva masi. The word that your own self is affirmed. So the Vedanta Darshana Advaita is very clear. The Upanishads are very clear. You are that. You are not this. Neham yadidam upasate. Pameva brahmatvam vidhi. Neham yadidam upasate. Atmanyeva atmana sarvam taya purnam nirantaram. Jata dhyanam nate jitram. Nirlajam jayate ka. Atmanye Atmana Sarvam Taya Purnam Niranda. Everything is spread completely. Purna Mada, Purna Midam, Purna Purna Mudachade, Purna Sya Purna Madai, Purna Meva Vasishya. So you are Purna. As the self is filled by the self, that is small self with big self. Small self does not exist. The Ghatakasha, the space inside the pot, and the Mahadakasha, outside space, or even the Chidakasha, the space is only one. So it is all filled continuously by you. There is no meditator or meditation. Why does your mind meditate shameless? Kinlabjam, Jayatekar. What do you meditate upon? Because the meditator and the meditated are actually one and the same. He's, that does not mean he's asking you to stop meditation. He's giving you an insight into a deeper reality than the duality of the meditator and the meditated. Shivam na janami katham madami, shivam na janami katham madami, aham shivas ched paramartha tatvam samasvarubam gaganopam. This is also a very profound statement. I don't know Shiva. Shivam na janami. Katham madami. How can I speak about Shivam Najanami, Katham Bhajan? How can I praise Shiva when I do it? Aham Shiva Sched, if I am Shiva, which is the highest truth. Paramartha Tattvam, Samasvarupam, Gaganopam. How can I speak or worship? That is the supreme state of self realization. How can I? Speak about it as if it is different. Naham tattvam samam tattvam kalpana hetu arjitam. Grahya grahaka nirmuktam sasam vedyam katham bhavi. Yaham tattvam, the ego principle, is not the truth. Naham tattvam samam tattvam. It is not, which is homogeneous, it is free from the cause of superimposition. Distinct perceived and perceived. How can the ego be that which is aware of itself? So, friends, this is a very important point. There is the ego on one side, and behind the ego is this true self. So, ego is the jivatma, and the true self is prama, like the two birds in the Thai, in the Upanishad. Dva, Suparna, Sayuja, Sakhaya. So, this ego is separating you from the Paramatma. So the ego cannot be held as highest. The principle of ego is not the truth, which is homogeneous. Which is, the truth is homogeneous and which is free from cause of superimposition. 
and distinction of perceived and perceiver, meditator and meditated. How can the ego be that which is aware of itself? So, Swayam Prakasha, Sakshi Chetna, or Swayam Tattvam, which is there, Swa, that is not ego. That is pure consciousness. The superimposition on that uh, part of it is ego, and that ego is your individual identity, which is causing from ego, ankara. Of course, if it is basic ego, which is harmless, it's fine, but when the ego becomes aggravated into arrogance, durahankara, then it leads to conflicts with others, and the desire unfulfilled becomes anger or hatred. So all these are compounding states of ego only. So the root cause of your ego has to be removed and your pure consciousness remains as it is. That is your true nature, is your true self. The moment you do it, you are liberated. The moment you enter into that, you are free from all pains, all conflicts, all difficulties. Ananta rupam nahi vastu kinchit tattva swarupam cha nahi vastu kinchit atmai karupam paramartha tattvam nahim sakova kumicha pyahimsa. There is no substance whatsoever which is by nature unlimited. Ananta rupam hi nahi kan vastu kinchit. In this universe, everything has a limit, nothing is infinite. There is no substance whatever which is of the nature of reality. Therefore, because the reality, the ultimate truth, Brahman, is Anantam. And there is no object in this world which is Anantam. To take anything. Anantarupam hinahivastu kinchit. Atmasvarupam. Tattvasvarupam nahivastu kinchit. There is no substance whatever which is in the nature of Tattva, the true reality. The very self is the supreme truth. That true reality, Tattva, is Atmai Karupam. The self alone is that truth. Therefore, everything else is a falsehood. This is what is mentioned again and again and again in this text. It is the most valuable, profound text. Vishuddhasi, you are pure. Samam Tattvam Videham Ajam Avyayam Vibhramam Tatham Atmanam Vibhramtoham Tatham You are this homogeneous reality. You are pure, you are bodiless, you are birthless and imperishable. Videham Ajam Avyayam Vibhramam You are getting delusion. You are getting hypnotized. You are getting hallucinated. You are being fooled with the fakery of your false identities, of ego, and the consequences of ego, of anger, lust, greed, jealousy. That is the root cause of all your problems. So therefore, we remove that ego, remove the superimposition of maya called ego, jivatva. Your true, true self will be effulgent like sun. And you are the true effulgent self and so is your neighbor, so is your brother, so is your wife, so is your son, so is your daughter, so is your grandson, grandchild, or neighbors, colleagues. They are all exactly the same pure self, which is one, which is also called God in an objective manner. Let me explain this. We have the objectification of the subject and the subjectification of the object. What is that? So, these two sentences will summarize the entire philosophy. The objectification of the subject, it can be interpreted in two different ways, either for the individual self or for the supreme self. The individual self, which is a subject, is being converted into an object by giving nama rupa, identity, this, that, all kinds of attributes. That is, the objectification of the self and the subjectification of the object 
objectification of the subject. These are the two issues. So subjectification of the object is object is like designation or name or form or body. These are all objects. You are subjectifying them, thinking that you are the name, you are the body, you are the designation, you are other number, you are the X, Y, Z. This is one, the falsehood interpretation. The other interpretation of the same word, the objectification of the subject and subjectification of the object is the supreme subject, that is the self of all, self of all, the capital S self, Paramatma. When you objectify it, you are calling it God. It is not an object. Ahamatma Guda Kesha. Sarva Bhuta Vyavasthitaha. Because you are not able to realize this fact that you are the pure self, which is supreme self, only one, that you are God, Tattva Masi. Since you are not able to realize that, you are giving an objectified narrative of the same. You are saying Narayana, Shiva, Vishnu, Krishna as the supreme self, which is all-pervading, which is in everything. It is just the other way of of telling the same. So, I hope you have understood these subtle points. This is what is being explained here again and again in different, different terms. Gade bhinne ghata kasham sulinam bheda vajitam shivena manasa shuddho na bhedam kipatime Just like when you break the pot, the akasha inside the pot, that is space, is automatically, instantly merged with the space outside the pot. Gade bhinne ghata kasham sulinam bheda vajitam No more, you cannot distinguish between the space in the pot and the space outside the pot after the pot is broken. Similarly, Shivena Manasa Shuddho Abheda Pratipat. So when I find myself one with the Supreme Being, I don't see any difference. When the pot is broken, the space within is absorbed into the infinite space and becomes undifferentiated. So when the mind becomes pure, I do not perceive any difference between the mind and the Supreme Being. Na ghato, na ghata kasho, na jivo, jivo vikraha, kevanam brahmasam vidhi vedda veda kavarjita. Just like there is only one space, even before the pot was broken, the space inside the pot and the space out the pot are actually the same. Once the pot is broken, we conclude that there is a merger, yoga, some yoga. But actually, even before that, there was only one space between the pot and the outside space. There is no pot, there is no pot's interior space. Neither is there an individual soul, nor the form of an individual soul. No, the absolute Brahman, devoid of knowable and knower. The Jivatma Tattva is an illusion. Maya Swarupa is created by Maya. Devi Hesha Gunamayi Mama Maya Duratchaya. My Maya is divine prakriti which creates this differentiation because he has told clearly bhumirapo analo vayukham mano buddhine vacha ahankara itiyam me bhinna prakriti rashtadha apareyam itasvanyam prakritim vidhime param jiva bhutam mahabaho jayedam dharyate jaga the prakriti is of two types mama maya daivi hesha the divine power prakriti is maya maya it is made of the gunas. It has two parts, apara and para. The apara prakriti is a manifest universe made up of the elements. Bhumi, rapo, analo, vayu, kham, mano, buddhire, vacha. Ahankara, itiyam, me, bhinna, prakriti, rashtadha. And the unmanifest, aparayam, itastvanyam prakriti, vidhi, me, param. The para prakriti, jiva, bhutam, maha, baho, yedam, dharyate, jagat. So that para prakriti, creates these jivatmas, the individual souls, with the individual egos, and holds up this individual identities. Jagat, Jagat, Sarvani 
अहम कृष्ण से जगत प्रभव प्रणय तथा सर्वत्र सर्वदा सर्व सततम ध्रुव सर्व शून्यम अशून्य तन्म विधि न संशय नो मी मी मीन सेल्फ टू बी सुप्रीम सेल्फ हू इज एव्रीथिंग एंड एव्रीवेर इन ऑल टाइम्स हू इज इटर्नल स्टडी एंड ऑल द वन विच इज ऑल एंड द नॉन एक्सिस्ट एंड एक्सिस्टेंट एज वेल दिस इज अव perspective which adhuta geeta gives the two opposites are referring to something higher than them both existence and non existence are actually vikaras so the self that is myself is beyond both vedana lokana surana yajna varnasramo neva kulam na jati hi धूम मार्गो न दीप्त मार्गो ब्रह्मक मैनिफेस्ट यूनिवर्स इज एन अपरंट मैनिफेस्टेशन दोकाफेस्टेड यूनिवर्स दिफेस्ट फॉर ब्रह्म इज द्योर सेल्फ एंड दैट इज ओनली हाइएस्ट ट्रूथ दोमोजीन इज ब्रह्म व्याप्य व्यापक निर्मुक्त सफल यदि प्रत्यक्ष चापरोक्ष आत्मा इफ यू आर दट इज सेल्फ इज बियॉन्ड बीइंग ऑल परवेडिंग और नॉट बीइंग ऑल परवेडिंग व्याप्य व्यापक निर्मुक्त सफल यदि इफ यू आर फ्री ऑफ द परवेडेड एंड द परवेडर इफ यू आर वन एंड फुलफिल how can you think of yourself as directly perceptible by the senses or beyond the range of senses so senses can perceive the physical world now the senses cannot perceive anything beyond that for example senses cannot perceive the mind also senses cannot perceive the self of course so we are talking of the domain or the level of the self brahmi sthiti the atma sthiti in which from which perspective all the rest dualities will be rejected and negated advaitam kechid ichhanti dvaitam ichhanti cha pare savam tattvam navindanti dvaita dvaita vivarcha some people like advaita some people like dvaita but both of them cannot necessarily realize the ultimate truth which is beyond transcendent to both dvaita and advaita shweta adi varna rahitam shabda adi guna varjitam kathayanti kasam tattvam manovacha mato how can they describe the truth which is beyond mind and words which is devoid of white and other colors which of devoid of sound and other qualities how can you describe that you cannot describe because it's nirguna there's no description qualities yada anrutam idam sarvam deha nigaganopam tada hi brahma samveti na te dvaita parampara when all those appear to you as false when the body and so on appear to be like space then you know brahman truly then for you there is no dual series the moment you realize the falsehood of the body and the universe made up of the five elements and you are able to see the oneness then you are liberated yada anrutam idam sarvam dehaadi gaganopama anrutam anrutam pancha bhautika तदा हि ब्रह्म संवेति न ते द्वैत परंपरा सर्वं खल्विदं ब्रह्म अयमात्मा ब्रह्म तत्त्वमसि अहं ब्रह्मास्मि सत्यं ज्ञानवनंतं ब्रह्म दीस महावाक्यास वंस देयर रियलाइज्ड इंट्यूटिवली देन यू विल नॉट बी अफ्लिक्टेड पेन अफेक्टेड बाय द Series of duality perceptions, Vaita Parampara, 
परेण सहजन्मा सहजात्मिन्न प्रतिभा व्योमाकार तथा ध्याता ध्यान ईवन मै नाचुरल सेलफ अपियर्स टू मी नॉन डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम से सहजावस्था इट इज कॉल्ड बैक इन दूत गीता ही एक्सप्लेन सहज स्थिति देर आर पीपल हू हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस इन देर लेक्चर्स वॉट इज कॉल्ड सहज मार्ग सहज स्थिति सहजानंद सहजात्मस्थिति इट इज नैचुरली बै युअर ओन ट्रू नेचर यू आर दट सुप्रीम सेल्फ इट ऑफ Appears to be one and like space, like Aham Akashavat Sarvatra, Bahirantar Gato Achalahal. Ostavakra also explains this. How can there be meditator and meditation? If you reach that stage, there are there is no duality anymore. The duality is a prerequisite for both bhakti and even dhyana. So when the duality is gone, there is only oneness. there cannot be any separation required in meditation yat karomi yadashnami yat juhomi dadami etat sarvam name kinchit vishuddhoham ajo avaya whatever i may do whatever i may speak whatever i may think whatever i may jump or act or move or walk or talk anything it doesn't matter to me na me kinchit nothing is there for to me because i am vishuddhoham i am pure aham avyaya i am indestructible so this is also explained in the gita pranapan visrajan grudnan unmishan nimishan nabi doing everything indriyani indriyardheshu vartanta iti bhava अकर्तृत्व न कर्मा लोक सृजति वैल डूइंग एवरीथिंग अपियरिंग टू बी डूइंग एवरीथिंग यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग दैट इज व्हाट इज आल्सो मेंशन्ड इन सम अदर श्लोकास इन भक्ति ऑफ भक्ति श्लोकास आल्सो लाइक प्रह्लादास एक्जिस्टेंस इज अपियरिंग टू बी डूइंग एवरीथिंग पानी अंबुल द्रागुचुन कुलसुचुन हास लीला निद्रा दुर्जेशु भाषिं चुन सतत श्री नारायण पाद पद्म युगी चिंतामृता बान विशेष प्रहलाद फॉर गॉड दिस यूनिवर्स वैल बीइंग अब्सॉर्ब इनटू दि लॉर्ड नारायण विष्णु कृष्ण वैल अपियरिंग टू अदर्स टू बी परफॉर्मिंग ऑल एक्शन लाइक टॉकिंग वॉकिंग ईटिंग स्लीपिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग But he was no way connected. This is one more wonderful statement by Shankara Acharya. O Shiva, Atma Tvam, I am you. Girija Mati hi. My mind is Prakriti, Adi Parashakti, Girija. Shariram Gruham. This body is the house, which has nine gates. Puja te vishe yo pa bhogar chena. all my sensory perceptions eating seeing smelling hearing touching is all puja stew samchar pradeo pradakshna vidhi what are walking i do is pradakshnam to you stotrani sarvagiro all my words all my speech is prayer to you stotrani sarvagiro yajyat karma karomi tatad akhilam whatever work i am doing shambho tavara i am doing aradhana to you kara charana krutam va manu karma vakayam va charana nayana jam va manasam va aparatham sarvam shamasva whatever omissions and commissions of the steps i have done through my hands legs body eyes ears nose please pardon me mahadeva shambho so this can be interpreted both in the bhakti parlance or in the parlance of jnana yat karomi yadashnami yat juhomi dadami yat yat satat etat sarvam name kinchit vishuddho ham ajo avaya whatever i do whatever i don't do whatever i see whatever i don't see here speak doesn't affect me because 
I am the pure self. What a wonderful state of realization and peace and experience. Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Nirakuti Dam Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Vikarahi Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Vishuddha Deham Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Vishwaika Rupa Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Nirakuti Dam Know all this universe to be formless. Akriti is not there. Sarvam Jagad Vidhi Vikarahi Nam Know all this universe to be without changes. Vikaras. Sarvam Jagat Vidhi Vishuddha Deham. Know all this universe to be of purified God. Know all this universe to be of the nature of the Absolute. Sarvam Jagat Vidhi Shivai Karo. So this is what is meant by saying everything is Shiva. Everything is caused by Shiva. Everything is Narayana. Because there is nothing else. What exists is only one. This is the Yatigitam of Vivekananda. You know not truth or dreams such vacant dreams as father, mother, children, wife, and friend. Sexless self, whose father is he and whose the self is only one. Self in your son, self in your father, self in your brother, self in your wife, self in your. Even Vidya Vinaya Sampane, Brahmane, Gavi Hastini, Sunichai Vishwapakecha, Pandita Samadarshinaha. Even in a dog, in a horse, or in a cow, or an elephant, or in a Brahmana, or even in a Chandala, or in a mountain or tree, everywhere there is only one Tatvam, one self, and you are that. Sri Aurobindo had this darshana of Lord Krishna in the prison when he was in prison. He suddenly started realizing that everyone in the prison was Krishna. The prisoners, other prisoners, the warden, the jailer, the head of the jail, the policemen, the guards, everyone appeared as one and the same Krishna. So this Oneness realization is the deepest spiritual enlightenment. It is way beyond the stupid bursts of anger and lasting and stupid selfishness and greed and jealousy and so on. Tattvam tattvam hin. Tattvam tvam nahi sandehaha. Kim janam yathava apunah. Asam vedyam swasam vedyam atmanam mandise katham. You are that truth, verily. There is no doubt about it. Otherwise, what do I know? Why do you consider the self it is perceptible to itself as imperceptible? If one does not perceive every being as divine, one is still ignorant. That's why Swami Vivekananda made repeated statements. Every being is potentially divine. And that divinity can be brought manifested outside through the process of yoga, either bhakti yoga or karma yoga or jnana yoga or raja yoga or the combination of some of them. And that is how you get the self-realization. Maya maya kathanta chaya chaya na vidyate. Oh my father, oh my child, why are you keep on talking about maya all the time? Blaming it. Maya maya katham tata. Chaya, Chaya, it is a shadow. The word Maya itself means, I have seen the definition of Maya by Shankaracharya. You cannot say it exists or you cannot say it does not exist. Satnapi, asatnapi, ubhayatmikano. Hinnapi, abhinnapi, ubhayatmikano. Sangapi, anangapi, ubhayatmikano. Mahadbhuta, nirvachaniya, Maya. This is a very famous quote which is inscribed in golden letters. In Tirupati, once, one place. Whosoever reads it may not understand it, but this is the highest definition of undefinability. Maya, Maya, Katam, Tata, Chaya, Chaya, Navijate. It does not exist because you cannot say it exists. Satnapi, Asatnapi, Ubhayatmika, you cannot say it exists or non exists simultaneously. 
Bhinnapya, Bhinnapya, Bhayatmika, no, he cannot say it is different from Brahman or it is same as Brahman or it is both a, same and different at the same time. Sangha, Pyalanga, Bhayatmika, no, you cannot say it is single or it has got parts or it is both. Then what can you say? Maha, Adbhuta, Anirvachana, you cannot say anything. Whatever you say is false. And that is the definition of Maya. Maya, Maya, Kathanta, Chaya, Chaya, Navijyate. Tattva meka vidham sarvam yomakaram nirangyanam. All this is one truth and all this is the nature of space without change. So that truth, that self is being objectified as the Lord, Narayana, Vishnu, Shiva, Venkateshwara and so on. But that is not an object, it is a subject. It is yourself. Ahamatma gulakesha. Sarva bhuta vyavasthita aham adhincha madhyancha bhuta namanta yavacha. So in Bhakti Yoga we have Salokya, Sarupya and Sayujya, Mukti, Sindhvaita, Tasvi also. Which means the duality between the Jiva and the Ishwara will be gradually reduced and oneness will be established. And with that oneness is the liberated state. Adi madhyanta mukto ham nabaddho ham gadachana. I am free from the beginning, middle, and the end. I have never been born. So, bhava nirmala shuddha iti me nishchita amatihi. I am naturally spotless. This is not an artificial to be acquired state. It is my natural state. Mahadadi jagat sarvam na kinchit pratibhati me brahmaiva kevalam sarvam kadham varna samasthitihi. The whole universe beginning with the principle of cosmic intelligence, mahat. Is not in the least manifest to me. All is indeed Brahman alone. Janami Sarvadha Sarva Mahameko Nivantaram Nilalamba Mashunyam Cha Shunyam Yoma Di Panchakam. I know that all in every way is the one indivisible I ness, I, which is man self sustained and full. Five elements beginning with the Akasha are empty. So it is not the self which is non-existent. This is Panchabhutatmakam Vishwam Marijat. The universe which appears to exist is an illusion. That is why the summary of Advaita is Jagan Mithya Brahma Satyam Jiva Brahma Yavanaparaha. But Sankaracharya admitted the Vyavaharika Satta for Maya. In practical parlance, Maya is a reality, not in the ultimate. We have three realities, friends. One is the practical reality in which we live, which is within Maya. We accept that reality as Vyavaharika Satta, that is within Maya. Then we have the Paramarthika reality, which is beyond Maya, which is Parabrahmatapam. And in between, we have the Third reality, which is the individual perspective, or the what appears to be real, like Jivatva, Ahankara, and the Indriyas, the mind, the Buddhi, Pratibhasika Satta. So, Vyavaharika Satta, Pratibhasika Satta, and Paramatika Satta. So, we are shuttling between the three realities, and in this session today, we are trying to transcend the Vyavaharika Satta and even transcend the Pratibhasika Satta and merge into the Paramarthika Satta, which is the ultimate truth, the only truth. And all the rest is a temporary reality, is an apparent reality made of illusion, Maya. It is real to the extent of that particular point of time, to that particular individual soul that is real. Beyond that is unreal. So it has only Vyavaharika Satta and Pratibhaska Satta, which is the root of Vyavaharika Satta. I hope you all understood this earlier also. If not today, you can understand. Nashando Napuman Nastri Napodho Naiva Kalpana Sanando Na Nidananda Atmanam Nanyasekatham. The self is neither immense nor man nor woman. It is neither idea nor imagination. How can you think the self to be full of joy or joylessness? Shadanga Yoga Natanaiva Suddham, Mano Vinashaya Natanaiva Suddham, Guru Padesha Natanaiva Suddham, Swayam Suddham, Swayameva Suddham. This self, 
this Shuddha Tattva is not going to be newly purified by various practices, various procedures, various Upadeshas. The self set does not become pure through the practice of something, Ashtanga Yoga or Shadanga Yoga, not through the destruction of the mind, not through the instruction of the teacher. It is already that it is itself the truth, it is itself the illuminated one. It is not dependent upon all these factors. These factors are helping us to transcend the Pratibhasika Satta and reach the Paramatma. And that process of transcendence is called Yoga. Nahi panchatma ko deho videhi vartate nahi atmaiva kevam sarvam turiyam chaprayam karma. There is no body made up of the five elements, nor there is anyone who is disembodied. All is verily the self alone. How can there be the three states and the fourth? We are talking of the Jagras of the Sushupti and uh, Turiya. So the important point here to note is these three states or the Turiya state or this yoga process or this Jnana Bodha, all this is from the perspective of the individual Jivatma. But from the perspective of the Paramatma, all this does not exist. Whether or not you are in three states, any state, or whether or not you have got what is called realization or etc. It doesn't matter because the self is always the same. Is Ignorance which is being gotten rid of by this process. I have never been bonded because therefore I will never be liberated. I am never separate from Brahman. The moment you accept you are different from Brahman, you are going into bondage. Yatha jalam jalem yastam salam veda varjitam. Prakritim purusham tadva dabhinnam pratipatime. As water, when water has been poured into water, has no distinctions. As space, when merged into space, has no distinctions. So purusha and prakriti appear non different. This is a very different point of understanding, which is very essential. Is it that the self or purusha or brahman? will remain pure and infinite and eternal only in certain circumstances or certain conditions or certain states and not otherwise. Not true. It is always the same. Yadi nāmana mukto sinapadho sikata achana sākāram sinirākāram ātmanam manni sekata. If indeed you are never bound or Liberated, how then can you think yourself with form or forms? The self, of course, is without form, but saying so implies recognition of form. That is the point. If you say nirakara, that means you are referring to akara. If you say advaita, you are referring to advaita. Therefore, even the idea of formlessness of the self is not correct, is being repudiated. These are very deep, subtler issues. If you understand this, then you have understood deep. It is like abstract mathematics. It's, but the reality is that Vedanta, Brahmajnana, Brahmavidya is abstract. Janamite param rupam prachiksham gaganopamam yadha param hirupam yan marichi jalasannipam I know your supreme form to be directly perceivable like the sky. I know your lower form to be as water in a mirage. So, these are all manifestations, forms within Maya, but it doesn't matter because Brahman remains, this Atman remains the same. Vishuddhasya siri rosi nate chittam paratparam aham chatma param tattam mitam hivaktum nalajase You are pure. You are without a body. Your mind is not higher than the highest. You need not be ashamed to say, I am the Self, the Supreme. Why should we be ashamed to say that I am the Self? 
the supreme truth. Katham rodishire chitta atmaim atmana bhava viva vatsa kalatitam advaitam paramadukam. Oh my child, oh mind, why are you weeping? Do you, the self, be the self by means of the self? Drink, my child, the supreme depth of non-duality, transcending all things. If your mind is arrested, mind is not there. If you are in yourself, there is no conflict, there is no suffering, there is no sorrow. And that yourself is the same as every other self. Problem is only with the ego and its consequences of ego, like desire, anger, greed, jealousy, and perceiving different, different egos as individual jivatmas, which are divided subunits of the same one supreme self. And by perceiving differences, and each one of them having different, different egos and ego states, like anger, lust, greed, and so on, that is how the conflict originates in this universe. That is how misery originates. The kleshas, avidya, asmita, ragadvesha, avinivesha, klesha, avidya, kshetra, muttaresham. So, so the avidya ignorance of the self is the root cause. Naiva bodho na cha bodho na bodha bodha evacha. Even the realization process itself is being subjected to the same analysis. You cannot say the self has realized or itself has not realized. Naiva bodho na cha bodho. Naiva bodho. Or you cannot say both at the same time, realized and unrealized. Yasya drisham sada bodha. It is always realized. Na bodho na anyatha bhave. Otherwise, it's not that at one point of time there will be realization. Otherwise, there is no realization. There is neither knowledge nor ignorance nor knowledge combined with ignorance. He who has always such knowledge is himself knowledge. Brahmavit Brahmaiva Bhavati. Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. Brahman is Jnanam, Satyam. It is already that. It is never otherwise. Sometimes this, sometimes that. It's not like that. The absolute spoken as existence, knowledge, and bliss. Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. Jnanam na taro na samadhi yogo na desha kalo na guru padesha. Swabhava samvitra hamcha tattam akasha kalpam sahajam dhruvancha. I am sahaja. I am always that. I am not going to be dependent, caused, uncovered, discovered or realized by so-called jnana or tarka or samadhi or desha kala etc. etc. Because by nature, the self, myself, Brahman, is independent. It is not dependent on any one of these processes or attributes or events or sequences. Najatoham namruto vapi name karma shubha shubham vishuddham nirgunam brahma bandho mukti kadham I am nirgunam brahman. How can I have bandha? And how can I have moksha also? Yadi sarvagato devaha, stirha, purno nirantaraha. Antaram hina pashyami, sabahya bhyantarakkati. If that divine being, supreme personality of Godhead pervades all, if he is immovable, full, undivided, then I see no division. How can he have exterior or interior? Spuratyeva jag. Jagat Krutstam Akhandita Nirantaram Aho Maya Mahamahom Vaita Dvaita Vikalpana. The whole universe shines undivided and unbroken. So, O oh Maya, the great delusion, the imagination of duality and mind. So, in the Akhanda Ananta Satyam Jnana Anantam Brahma, which is the self, Ayamatma Brahma, how can there be divisions? Like duality, non duality, they're all imagined. Sakaranch nirakaram neti neti di sarvada. Veda veda vinir mukto vartate kevala shivaha. 
the absolute exists pure blissful the word shiva means blissful the absolute blissful satyam jnanam anantam brahma exists independent of everything this and not this transcending differences and non differences even difference and non difference is a duality which is not going to affect the brahman no formed or formless object can be considered to be the ultimate reality divanaktam na che chittam udayastamayo nahi videhasya sharirattvam kalpayanti katham buddha day and night or uh, sunset and sunrise all these are relative perceptions relative realities how can the wise imagine an embodied state for the bodiless na vibhaktam vibhaktam cha nahi dukha sukhani cha nahi sarvam asarvam cha vidhi cha atmanam amyayam realize that self to be immutable yourself to be the supreme self which is immutable avyayam neither it is undivided nor divided the division and non division are again abstractions of the mind only nor it is sadness or happiness naham karta na bhokta na che karma paradhana puradhana na me deho videho va dharma me ti bhame ti kim i am not the doer or enjoyer na kartrutvam na karmani lokasya srujati prabhu na karma phala samyogam cha swabhavastu pravartate nikit also it's clearly mentioned by own true nature you are not the doer you are not the owner you are not the actor you are not the sufferer or enjoyer or the consequences of your actions i have no body nor i am bodiless how can i have or not have a sense of minus name ragadiko dosho dukham dehadika name atmanam vidhimam ekam vishalam gaganopamo i have no fault such as passion and like nor i have any sorrow arising from uh, the body no me to be that one self vast and like sky sakhe manah kim bahujalpitena sakhe manah sarvam idam vitakyam tat sarabhutam kathitam mayate tameva tattvam gaganopamosi no tatatreya avadhuta is telling us o oh friend friend mind of what use is much vain talk why should i go on telling so many times friend mind all this is mere conjecture i have told you that which is the essence you indeed are the truth like the sky yena kena api bhavena yatra kutra mrutam api yogina statra liyante ghata akasham vam so yogis who have established themselves in this state of oneness of the true self brahman brahmatmana samsthiti we have that famous shloka of shankaracharya jantu nam na jarma durlabha taram among all the births to be born as a human being is a very rare act tatopi viprata among human beings to be born as a vipra that means he who has knowledge supreme knowledge vedic knowledge brahmajnana is even more rare tattu vaidika dharma marga parata vidvat suhoshanam having satsangas like this to ponder over the analyze the problems and the root cause of the problems of the ego and the self is even more rarer and rarer and finally to be established with oneness with the brahman brahmatmana samsthiti hi aham brahmasmi state is the rarest chata janma koti sukruta irvina arabhate 100 crore lives punya on you will be able to reach that stage if you reach that stage then you are liberated already so once you are already liberated satsangatve nisangatvam nisangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischala tattvam nischala tattve jivan mukti you are already liberated then it doesn't matter where the death happens yena kena api bhavenam yatra kutra mruta vaapi yogina tatra liyante ghata akasha vivambare they will be merged into the supreme being tirthe cha antyage he cha in a holy place or in a ho- most useless place or nashta smritirapi tvajan even in a coma state 
मनकाले तंतु समकाले तनु मुक्ता कैवल्य व्यापको भले सो हैविंग रियलाइज्ड दिस ऑल ऑलरेडी ही विल बी रीचिंग कैवल्यम गिविंग अप द बॉडी इन अ होली प्लेस और इन द हाउस ऑफ अ चंडाल और द योगी इवन इफ ही इज लॉस्ट कॉन्शियसनेस becomes identified with the absolute as soon as he free from the body just like when the pot breaks the space in the pot merges with the pot outside in the infinite space dharmartha kama mokshanscha dipadadi characharam manyante yogina sarvam marichi jala sandipo the yogis will realize that all the purusharthas dharmartha kama mokshas and ವ್ಯಪಂಚಾರಿಕಶ್ಚರಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವ್ ರೆವರೇಷನ್ ಪರ್ಸೂಟ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೂವಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಮೂವಬಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅರೀಚ ಜಲ ಸನ್ನಿಪ ಮಿರಾಜ್ ಅತೀತ ಅನಾಗತ ಕರ್ಮ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ತಥೇವ ನ ಕರೋಮಿ ನ ಭುಜಾಮಿ ಇತಿ ಮೇ ನಿಷ್ಕಳಾಮತಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೋ in process atita anagatam karma vartamanam tathaiva hi na karomi i am not the doer na bhunjami i am not the enjoyer iti me nischitamati this is my definite determination chunyagare samarsa tattva tishthatye ka sukham avadhuta charati hit nagnastah garvam vindati kevala vatpari sarvam ya avadhuta sthiti is explained in these songs ಕೃತಯ ಪೂರ್ತ ನಹಿ ನಹಿ ಯತ್ರ ವಿಂದತಿ ವಿಂದತಿ ಆತ್ ಕೇವಲ ತತ್ವ ಧರ್ಮಾಧರ್ಮೋ ನಹಿ ನಹಿ ಯತ್ರ ಬದ್ಧೋ ಮುಕ್ತ ಕಥಮ ತತ್ರ ವಿಂದತಿ ವಿಂದತಿ ನಹಿ ನಹಿ ಯತ್ರ ಛಂದೋ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ನಹಿ ನಹಿ ತತ್ರ ಸಮರಸ ಮಗ್ನೋ ಭಾವಿತ ಪೂತ ಸಮರಸ ಪ್ರಣಪತಿ ತತ್ವ ಪರಮವಧೂತ ಸರ್ವಂ ಅಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಚ ಸತ್ಯ ಅಸತ್ಯಂ ಚ ನಿಜ್ಯತೆ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಭಾವತ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಂವಿತ್ತಿ ಪೂರ್ವಕ there exists neither complete void nor voidlessness neither truth nor untruth yavadhuta having realized the truths of the scriptures has uttered this spontaneously from his own true nature that's the end of the first chapter om tat thank you prabhu ji for a very wonderful very power packed uh, presentation i would say i think that is the nature of the text itself uh viewers if you have any questions please put it in q and a box we have just uh, uh five uh, six seven minutes and uh, we will take it up uh as we wait for viewers question uh, prabhu ji i have a question uh, we you covered uh, ashtavakra gita in your last uh, weekend with wisdom that we did and now we are covering avadhut gita so what do you think uh, is is there any difference in the approach to the subject in these two texts because i i understand they both are radical texts in some sense in the sense that they 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 take up the subject in a very direct manner uh, uh they tackle the subject of the ultimate reality in a very direct manner so what do you see as uh, similarities and differences be- in their approach to vedanta between this avadhuta gita and the ashtavakra gita sure that's a great question now as you recall uh, during the ashtavakra samhita there was a samvada uh, between janaka and ashtavakra so janaka was seeker of moksha he was a mumukshu and he was not able to reach jnana required for moksha so he, he asked he approached ashtavakra and requested him by asking questions katham jnana vavapnoti katham muktir bhavishyati vairagyam ch katham bhavet yet adruhi mama prabho o lord explain me how will i get jnana how will i get vairagya how will i get moksha and ashtavakra explains yadi moksha ichchhate jayat tata vishayan vishavatyaja if you want uh, moksha you give up all your desires you give up all your sensory objects pursuits and you acquire the positive emotions qualities like kshama arjava daya tosha satyam piyushavat bhaja so he gave a procedural sadhana method there and he talked of detachment he talked of giving up the obsessions and the possessions which janaka had 
And Janaka having done that, it's all a mental process. Having done that on the spot, he came, he reached that stage of detachment. And then once he was detached, he was liberated because the bondage was only due to his attachments. So once he is detached, he was liberated and he exclaimed in the second chapter onwards, Oh, I am the pure self. Aho, Nevanjana Shanto, Bodhoham. I am the self which is independent of all. And all these days I have been fooled. I have been cheated by Maya. Maya Neva Vidambitaha. So that is the process there. And once he realized, he talked just like Avadhuta. So that is where the difference lies. The before and after. So Ashtavakta Samhita is an instruction process. It is a sequence of procedure given. And having gone through that, Janaka reaches the same self-realized state which the Avadhuta already has. In Avadhuta Gita, there is no conversation. There is no question answer. There is no doubt and clarification. It is a declaration. Just like Janaka declares in the second chapter, fourth, uh, fourth chapter, fifth chapter, his self-illumination, the Brahmanandam, Atmanandam, the glory, the grandeur of Moksha Sthiti. So Avadhuta starts from there itself. That is where the difference lies. And Avadhuta, right from the beginning, he is declaring and it takes us through a process of meditation process. So, in fact, the study of Avadhuta Gita, speaking it or hearing it or chanting it or reading it, is a meditation process, is a sadhana by itself. And you reach that state by yourself. You also become Avadhuta, at least temporarily during the process of this study. Um, thank you, Prabhuji, for a very uh, graphical description of the differences. Uh, one of the questions we have received is, uh, can you please explain again about object uh, objectization of subject and vice versa? Yes, very good. I am very happy somebody is asking this question. I perceive it in two different levels. The objectification of the subject and the subjectification of the object. What I mean by that is again at two different levels, at the mundane level and this transcendental level. So at the mundane level, objectification of the subject means the external world into which you are lost. You are lost so much that you have forgotten yourself, the subject, and you have identified yourself with objects. You have assumed the roles of the objects. All other times, except in the state of yoga, which is being in yourself, you are identifying with the objects, which are the forms of thoughts. Name, body, designation, address, other number, income tax, PAN number, etc., etc., etc. Endless false identities are being assumed. That is the objectification of the subject at the mundane level. And the subjectification of the object is also, I am this, I am that, I am that, all false. So this is one level of interpretation. The other level is at the supreme level. The pure self which you are and which so is your neighbor, every one of us. All of us are just the pure self which is the supreme. Aham Atma Gura Akesha, Sarva Bhuta Vyavasthitaha. I am the self, he told very clearly. That is a subject. Self is a subject. The perceiver, the thinker, Sakshi is not an object. But that self is being objectified as God. Venkateshwara, Narayana, Shiva, Vishnu, Krishna. It is not an object. It is actually a subject. In fact, there is a song which my mother's guru used to sing, which means in Telugu, Intakantanu Vintakalada, Ane Brahman Banu Tatpamunu Marachi Ratiki Mokedar Intakantanu Vintakalada. Having forgotten that you are the Brahman, you are the self, you start worshipping a god outside you, even in the form of an idol or a picture or any other or formless. Is it not a wonder? Is there any greater wonder than this? Because the Supreme Lord is within yourself. Nihito guhayam parame vyoman. So to realize that 
supreme self within yourself is the ultimate process of spiritual realization. So these are the two levels of interpretation of those two words. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, I think we can take one more question before we wrap up the session. Uh, how does one uh, assess one's own level with respect to liberation? Is it a gradual process or one like a switch? It's a gradual process, no doubt. Uh, Lord has explained clearly in the sixth chapter. Yogi goes through many, many levels of many, many lives and finally he will reach the liberation. Within one life also, it is a long process. It is a gradual process and many lives have gone through. Bahuni megati tani janmani tava charjuna tanyaham vel sarvani natvam vetta parantava so he said, many lives you have gone through, I have also gone through. In the case of yogi, aneka janma samsparsha stato yati param gatim. So this state of self-realization which Avadhuta is declaring here in this Avadhuta Gita cannot be achieved just like that. If you can achieve it just like that, then you are already liberated. So it will come through a long process. That's why he told right in the beginning, you must have noticed that he, in between, he intervenes at a very down to earth practical level. First, he said, Ishwara Anagraha Deva Kumsam Advaita Vasana. Only by Ishwara Anagraha, you will get even an instinct of Advaita. Otherwise, you will not be interested in all this. And Mahadbhaya Paritrana, Viprana, Upajaya. Then, in between, also, he kept on saying, Shruti, Shruti has said this, Tattvamasya Adivakthena. So, Shruti has said this. That means he is aware of the Mahavakyas. He is aware of the Shruti Vakyas. So, he is guiding us step by step. And it is, he is actually guiding us into a meditation process of elevation from the Jiva level to the Shiva level, from the individual to the Supreme Being. And he is asking us to be established in that level all the time. That is Avadhutik. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Prabhuji, uh, for a wonderful uh, uh, session. Uh, viewers, we will meet again at 2 p.m. and uh, uh, Prabhuji will continue. Hmm? What, what time? 2 p.m. 2 to 4. 2 p.m.? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. 2 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 2 o'clock. 2 in the afternoon. Yes, yes. So we will meet again at 2 and uh, Prabhuji will continue with uh, his enunciation on the text. And uh, if there are any more questions from this session, you can ask it uh, in the afternoon session as well. And uh, he will take it up towards the end. So uh, with this, uh, uh, we conclude the session. Uh, see you again in the afternoon. Shri Guru Bihar.